Over the weekend, Amy Roloff married Chris Merrick in a beautiful ceremony. The long-anticipated wedding took place on Roloff Farms. Matt Roloff is now giving followers a virtual tour of the farm and how it played into the wedding. But some Little People Big World fans accuse him of trying to monetize his ex-wife's nuptials by promoting his business. Wedding Farm Wrap-Up Matt Roloff captioned a new video on his Instagram. He wrote, Honored that Amy and Chris chose the farm for their big wedding day. Now on to pumpkin patch setup. Wait for it. The actual video on Matt Roloff's Instagram extends for over 7 minutes. In it, Matt rides around the property pointing to different locales relevant to the weekend's nuptials. For instance, Matt notes the gazebo. Amy and Chris were married in front of that. Matt has spent the last couple of days getting the farm back in order following the wedding. Commenters were quick to praise Matt for the video and for the farm having served as a venue. Well done, Matt. You really stepped up to the mark for Chris and Amy. Most exes would not have done anywhere near what you did for them. Good on you. You are amazing and so is the farm, another follower praised. Love that you all supported Amy on her next chapter. That certainly was heartwarming to see. Not everyone was feeling the laugh, even if they were happy for Amy and Chris. Some social media users called out Matt, accusing him of using the wedding for the farm's publicity. You can't deny that he gave Amy a shout-out and then began to promote pumpkin season in essentially the same breath. On the other hand, Matt was acting as Amy's wedding venue. Some venues will keep quiet and let the people who marry there decide what to share and what to keep to themselves. But many venues, especially those that offer discounts or free nuptials for famous people, are going to promote it on social media. In that sense, Matt was acting like any other wedding venue that Amy or Chris might have encountered. Caterers, dress shops and venues tend to have social media where they will promote themselves when the opportunity arises to showcase what they offer. In a world where pizza places will share when a TikToker stops by, Matt's store of the farm seems downright tame. But we get the impression that many of those raising their eyebrows at Matt's store already have strong opinions about him. Many have not looked at him the same way since they heard that he had cheated on Amy with Karen during their marriage. Additionally, his attitude and behavior, as seen and described on camera, makes many feel that he was a toxic partner. Even after the divorce, a number of fans have the impression that Matt has continued some bad habits. He has been accused of at first dismissing but then claiming credit for Amy's wildly popular pumpkin salsa idea. In a sense, one could see this as repeating that behavior, letting Amy and Chris marry there and then using it to market his farm. But as we said, this isn't an abnormal thing to do, not every venue keeps things under wraps. And besides, it was Amy's fans first and foremost who were interested in a behind-the-scenes glimpse at the farm. Matt has his faults, but this video seems sweet and harmless. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.